there are often times where you're going to find the need to restore an older version of an Excel workbook. If you're used to working with older versions of Excel and you've come across the problem before of trying to restore files, it can be quite difficult. In them circumstances, you'll find that people save multiple copies of files with version 1, version 2 and version 3. But if you're using Excel 365 and you're using the OneDrive storage, restoring files has now become way, way easier than it was before. In this video, we're going to look at how you can restore Excel files. But before we get stuck into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss another video again. You'll also find a link below the video to my website. I do hope that you will pop over and take a look around. My name is Paula and I'm from the Excel Club and let's get stuck in to this video. In this video we're going to look at restoring files from Excel 365. When you're working with Excel 365 you can save your files to OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud storage and once your files are saved there you will have this auto save feature. An auto save feature only works when you have your files saved to OneDrive or to SharePoint. And once this auto save feature is on it's very easy then to be able to restore files that have been saved and overwritten when you're using OneDrive. To do this, if you go to File and from File if you go to Info. From Info you then have this version history and when you click it a new pane will open on the right hand side of your screen. And this will show all the different versions of your workbook that had been saved to your OneDrive folder. By clicking open version, it doesn't interfere with the version you currently have open. Instead, it opens the older version and then from there, you can copy the contents from this version or you can save it as a separate file. So you can press restore to actually restore an older version of a file. Again, it's very important to note that this is an Excel 365 feature. If you're using Excel 2019, it's a little bit different. And if you aren't using your autosave, you also won't have this option. 